I don't even know who I was when I came to Spelman. I was very quiet and shy and like afraid of talking and interacting with people. I started dancing when I was like three and seriously when I was around 12. Um, I didn't talk when I was little. Dance was a way for me to communicate with my mom and also just like communicate to the world and express myself. Art is just my way of, you know, getting down the words that I can't figure out how to say. In addition to dance, I have a love and a passion for technology. The passion comes from the same place. It's really a passion for creating. Uh, by learning a language, by implementing code, you can create something from nothing. I think what really inspired me was that Spellman didn't say there's a mold that you have to be and that's like how you're defined. I was encouraged by mentors and professors um, that I can make something happen with dance and computer science, define myself with it and define my career with it. Um, and that's how I found my voice. I had an amazing opportunity to um, intern with Twitter in San Francisco. Unfortunately, I was the only HBCU intern in the intern class, but that really motivated me to figure out ways to create a pipeline for HBCU students to get into bigger tech companies. A mantra that really sticks with me is like, lift as you climb. Some friends and I co-founded a nonprofit called We Are HBCUs, and it aims to amplify and uplift the HBCU community by providing um, interactive ways for the wider HBC community to connect, um, to network. At the end of senior year, we got a call from Spellman um, saying that there is a very um, generous person uh, willing to pay off uh, the debt that I owed to the school. Um, that's Frank Baker, and I'm so grateful for what he did. It allowed me to go into my first job without any stress, like knowing that I'm gonna get my degree and I don't owe anything else. If I could create a dance to reflect my departure from Spellman, it would probably be a dance that embodies and fully encapsulates joy and finding my voice.